Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York on Monday, 29th day of December 2014 in the CISA, the daily report for gold and silver. After a tremendous short covering rally on Friday, we've got the market dramatically lower today. You can see that on this daily chart that we're looking at. We've got gold currently trading off about $15 on the day. 1177.60 on the low, 1197.20 on the high. Current is 1181 and change. Silver also giving back the majority of the gains that we saw from Friday's trading activity. Currently trading off almost 30 cents on the day, well back below $16, 1578. The low 1565, the high 1635, more on silver towards the end of the show. So traders, I do have a couple of major observations that we can glean from the information available today. And the first thing that kind of sticks out at me more than anything else, and we'll talk about the second thing, which is of course this increased sensitivity or volatility and a continuation back to a stronger dollar, weaker oil, um, stronger equities markets. But that is when we take a, a real look at where this market is traded at over this last year and we're looking at a monthly chart we can really say without any kind of question unless we have a dramatic move market roughly opened at about twelve hundred dollars per ounce at the beginning of 2014 the conclusion of 2013 and as we are about two to three days now away from the beginning of next year we have the market once again trading roughly at twelve hundred so in the big picture, the big picture, we really haven't seen a lot of activity in terms of the price of gold as it's changed over the year. It's pretty much the same. However, during that same period, a lot has changed. The first thing, obviously, is that when we look at the uh, standard and poor's the equities markets, Dow Jones Industrial Average, we do have the Dow Jones down a couple of points. S&Ps, though, are up a couple of points, and they are looking as though they're going to close at a record high. We're at 2086.75. So during the same period that gold pretty much stayed the same in terms of pricing, we had the Standard & Poor's really move up tremendously when we consider that at the beginning of the year, it was trading at roughly 17 53 and is now at 2086 so a dynamic tremendous move in the standard and poor the next thing that we see continuing under pressure this is a weekly chart continuous contract of crude oil now trading below 55 at about 53.63 now as i said that's a weekly chart the action on monday obviously has been all in today and you can see that on a daily chart you can really see this market just meandering from just above uh, 100 or just around 100, I should say, as it's lost roughly half of its value in one, two, three, maybe four months. So a dramatic, dramatic decline, of course, in crude oil prices. So traders, more, most importantly, how does that really influence our overall and longer term view of the market? And I have to say that right now, the models that we're looking at specifically uh, the bearish model in which we're looking at a current Elliott wave count of this particular wave right now that we're in being our final fifth wave that should conclude this long sell-off, one, two, three, of course, four, and then now we're in five. I also anticipate in terms of where the market could go, uh, really 1032 is the price point that I'm looking at if we get wave one equal to wave five we would have the market going lower could even break a thousand but for right now this is really where i think the market could go and it's really based upon this particular top here or the conclusion of a major first wave and traders that also really does not bode well in terms of our other models that we're looking at particularly this this three date chart in which we have this long standing resistance line and we can see that without a question of a doubt that on this last rally at least the way that i'm looking at it now after it could not 
topple uh, 1252, I believe. The, the, the high was 1241, so we now have had a lower high. And that really, to me, signals a continuation of this basic pressure. I think that we will come in and conclude this wave. As I said, I'm looking for uh, the market really to go to about 1032 on the low end. That would be the low end. Of course, a 61% move, meaning 61% of wave three here would take you to about 9 52 and if we just simply do a one-to-one -one relationship between waves one and waves five it takes you to roughly the same place so according to the models that we're looking at i'm actually being a little bit optimistic in terms of where i think the bottom might uh, actually come in and that of course is if we're right and the market continues under pressure so traders as you know i have been sitting on the sidelines and you can see one of the primary reasons that I felt that that would be our best recourse or action right now is when you've got days in which you were $15 lower today, $20 higher on Friday, you're getting this whipsaw effect and this extreme volatility in the market. I think that we genuinely have some real cues as to where we think this market is going to head. And all things being equal, I do see a continuation of gold and silver being under pressure. Uh, speaking about silver, I, $15 is where I'm looking at right now. I believe it will move in unison more with gold than it will with the equities markets, meaning that when the equities are higher and gold is lower, I think we'll see a unison with uh, silver moving in tandem with gold as opposed to moving higher with the equities. $15 support and $14 major support in silver. We are going to remain sideline. We only have uh, today and tomorrow, 31st is after that. And then I believe that we'll look to initiate short positions right at the beginning of next year or possibly even the end of this year. We'll have to see because we still have a couple of days left and I don't want to get caught in squaring up positions as we go right into the year end and any more wildness. Once we feel the volatility has left the market, we're going to go in there like gangbusters and, and begin to trade for 2015. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Uh, remember, you only have uh, till the first for those that have not uh, taken advantage of the loyalty program and do wish to, they can contact us. Again, Gary Wagner, have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.